Hey, I'm Coach Colin Castello with ShotMechanics.com, and today we're gonna go over our NBA Shooting Secrets Reggie Miller Edition. <laughs> All right, so don't forget you're gonna to wanna to do two things. Number one, you're gonna to wanna to hit the subscribe button below. Um, that way you get all four videos we send every single week. Number two, you're gonna to wanna to click up here or in the description to get a free copy of our top three favorite shooting secrets. Um, these are shooting secrets that you can probably put directly into your game and increase your shooting percentage overnight. All right, so let's break down Reggie Miller's shooting stroke. Now, the first thing I wanna point out is his laser focus. This is one of the things that allowed him to be so clutch throughout his NBA career. Like any sport, the longer you aim at something, the more accurate your shot or whatever it is will be. I truly believe that one reason why Reggie Miller was one of the most clutch shooters in NBA history is because of this laser focus. Every time he touches the ball, the very first thing he does is look at the basket. Notice how in this possession, he avoids the defender, doesn't get the look early, but instead keeps his focus and then is able to locate the hoop early coming out of the move. The best shooters key on their target, so try to do that and see if it helps your game. So find that hoop early and often. It's one of the absolute keys to being a great shooter and Reggie does an awesome job at it. All right, the next thing I wanna talk about is what we like to call 10 toes to the rim. 10 toes to the rim just basically means you're a squared up shooter. Many players today tilt their feet just slightly when they're getting ready to shoot, but Reggie was a straight up shooter. Now the reason why I wanted to bring this up is because tilt shooting is all the rage nowadays. But I've known plenty of phenomenal shooters who squared up, and I actually squared up until a rotator cuff injury a couple years ago. So don't feel like you have to be a tilt shooter. If it feels comfortable when you're squared up, go for it. He is the second leading three point shooter in NBA history. So if it works for him, it might work for you. Now a lot of players aren't squared shooters like Reggie Miller, but this is just kind of proof that it all depends on what what you're comfortable with. We don't all have to be tilt shooters. If you're a great squared up shooter, that's okay. No need to mess with it. I shot with 10 toes towards the rim pretty much my entire life, and I'm still one of the best shooters on my team and even the league. So really, you can do it either way. Now, I wanted to talk a little bit about Reggie Miller's miss mechanics. And this is what I'm truly about in my shooting instruction, and that's this. Not everybody will have the exact same form or technique. The best players find something that's comfortable for them, and they get as many reps with that as they possibly can. So is this a textbook follow through? Nah, not really. Do most great shooters you know knock their knees together when they're getting ready to shoot? Eh, probably not. So instead, just try these small tweaks one at a time that we show you guys and see if they fit your game. Also, don't forget to check out our top three favorite shooting secrets that you can add to your game. Um, they're tips just like this that will probably dramatically increase your percentage overnight. Um, other than that, I'll see you Monday for our Drill of the Week. Thanks for watching, guys.